Have you ever wondered, what are the odds of you being born you? I'm Nick, welcome to All Our Questions, where I search the internet for questions we all want answers to, and I answer them starting right now. With the world's population storming past 7 billion and increasing by thousands a day, you may come to the conclusion that being born isn't so unusual. Well, you couldn't be more wrong. While the chances of someone having a baby are pretty high, the chances of you actually being you are astronomically slim. First, you are only you because your mother and father met. The chances of those two humans ever meeting is roughly 1 in 200 million if we assume they mostly stuck to living in the same part of the world. Already that's highly unlikely and we're just getting started, but further still, the chances of two people meeting and staying together long enough to have children reduces the chances by a factor of 20,000. In addition to that, each woman carries a set number of eggs and a man can produce a trillion sperm cells in his adult life. Each of these eggs and cells are not made equal and any combination of them could have produced a completely different person. So what are the chances that that particular sperm fertilized that particular egg to make you? The answer is one in 400 quadrillion, but things are about to get even more unlikely. The chances of your parents meeting and having a child at exactly the right time with all of the other variables involved is mind-bogglingly small, but that's just the start of the story. In order for your parents to meet, they also had to be born. So we repeat this whole equation for your parents, your parents' parents, and again for their parents, and so on and so forth, going back billions of years to the first living organisms. You are part of an unbroken chain of reproduction that followed a seemingly impossible chain of events. If just one of your ancestors didn't reach childbearing age, or if they didn't meet the person that they had met at the exact right time, you wouldn't exist. In reality, it's impossible to calculate the odds of the unending chain of events that had to happen in order for you to exist. For example, you have to factor in things like what are the chances of someone being a certain denomination of a religion that caused them to live in a certain area so that they could meet the particular person in your family tree that led to you. In reality, you would also have to factor in things like what are the chances of your father getting a job at this particular company that moved him to a particular area where he happened to meet your mother, where she had just moved to that particular area as well because of her work situation. And there are all kinds of small variables like that that you would have to factor in, and you can ripple that all the way back through time. But according to a Harvard study, assuming roughly 150,000 generations, the chances of all of this happening is one in 10 with 2,640,000 zeros behind it. And those odds start with the existence of Earth, which is sitting in a perfect distance from the sun, and our solar system is in the perfect place in our galaxy, which is in a perfect place in our universe to allow the events to take place for you to come into being. Your existence is an impossibility made possible against unimaginable odds. I hope you're doing something cool with it.